Here's how to configure satellites and scan in channels. Press menu to get to the main menu here. Install. Satellite install. Here's your North American satellite list. Everything is pre-configured for a universal LNB for the North American satellites. It's 10600, 22 kilohertz on. You'll need to change that if using a, a standard. If you're using a, a universal like Spitfire or the PLL, especially if you're using U-cells, this is a super fast setup. We'll do 83 West KU and another one for an example. Do you have it highlighted? Press the green, green key to edit. Here's all your settings. You set your switches here. Um, power, there's tons of options. If you want to do the, the single polarity, the option's there. Um, if you want to boost it a little bit, there's various reasons why you may or may not want to do that. All those controls are right here. Now, to set up a motor, press the yellow key on the screen. We'll look at DISEC 1.2 real quick. These are all pretty self-explanatory, except this is a lot more common in Europe than here. Here, most of our receivers, we designate a position. You know, position 1 for 83, position 2 for 87. Alien in the Spark system automatically designates. If I hit save right now, this will become position 1 in the motor. The next one I do will be position 2, the next one position 3. It does it automatically. It's just something to, to be aware of because it's a little different than the way we do it. Now, we'll switch over to U-cells, longitude and latitude. Use the arrow key to switch from east to west here in North America. Press the OK key to move. We're actually already on 83 west. Now if you hit store here, it'll store this as a DISEC 1.2 position as well. So you don't want to do that if you're just configuring U cells. All right. Hit the exit key. Exit out of this. Yes to save. The reason why we, we did that is it just put the U cells coordinates in for all the satellites. We don't have to enter them one by one. If we just flip through all the satellites with the motor controls, it would ask us each time. So now we hit the green key to edit again. Look on the right, there's a nice diagram that shows your antenna. The gears is for the motor, STB, TV. It shows your connections. If you had a switch designated, it'll show you the switch on there. So you know everything's set up right. Now we'll go back into motor because this will be the fastest way to go through them. Press the red key to scan. You have several options here for FTA and uh, everything, you know, including scrambled or just the FTA radio or all radio. Uh, most of the time, just FTA or or all works. Um, network information table. The only satellites that have it where it works for us would be Dish Network and Bell, which we're not getting. So you can just leave that to off. Press OK to scan. It very quickly goes through all the transponders in memory, comes back to the screen. Satellite will be highlighted. Press the OK key. Pick your next satellite. Turn U cells on with the arrows. As you can see it's pre-configured. Press OK to move. Press the red key to 
scan. Keep doing this for each of the satellites you want to scan in. It takes me a total of maybe 15 minutes to go from 61 West to 125 West on KU, scan all the channels in, and be watching TV. When you're done with all these, you exit out, be sure it'll ask you if you want to save, modify, make sure you hit yes so you don't lose your work and it stores everything. That was 87 West. We do the same thing for 89 West. Move to the satellite. Red key to scan. Good to go.